Hey designers, in this video I want to show you how you can design a responsive layout in Figma using Figma local variables. We're going to be using three breakpoints, the iPhone, iPad and desktop, and then we'll apply local variables to our designs to make it responsive. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like it. So let's go designing. Alright guys, so I have uh, some of the assets ready and I have three breakpoints that we're going to be using the iPhone, iPad and desktop. And also I have uh, these uh, three um, assets, the menu, the catalog with filters and uh, the card. For us, it doesn't matter what it is right now, or we're going to be using it to design sort of like a city tours page with catalog and cards. So, uh, okay, so now let's go to the local variables section. I'll click on the icon, create variable, pick number, and here we're going to be using the first value or the first variable for our um, breakpoints and uh, for our width of our displays or mm, frames doesn't matter how you call it i'll just call it a breakpoint and for the first value uh, we're going to be using it for the mobile and in our case it's 390 so i'll put 390 here and i'll change the name value to mobile like this now i want to add another mode and call it tablet like this and here I change the value to 1024 now I want to apply new mode and change it to desktop and number 1440 like this let's apply it right away to our frames so we, we pick the first frame we go to width of this frame and we click on the local variables icon and here we pick width actually if you want to know more about how to use local variables please check out another video on my channel the link should be somewhere on top All right so let's go to the second uh, frame for the tablet and let's pick the um, width for the tablet but here we can only see the width for our uh, mobile you see only 390 that's because um, our frame with a tablet is in the first mode we didn't change the mode so let's apply this width for the mobile and you'll see that it will change right away see it changed now it's 390 but now we should go to the layer section of our frame and click on these icons for the uh, local variables and find Lewis collection one and here you see that um, auto is selected but we need to pick tablet actually I have the <laughs> table tablet and for the desktop let's do the same thing and here we pick 390 but then we go to players and we pick desktop mode so this is set up so these are our breakpoints now we should add some more um some more value variables uh, in order to make this uh, design work and first i want to add the paddings that will be in our design on the left and right so let's add number and we call it side padding let's do it like this for mobile i want to use 20 for tablet, I want to use 40, and for desktop, I want to use, let's say, 64, just to see the difference. And now, uh, I want to add uh, another option, and it's, this is going to be our um, gaps in our out layout that we'll be using. So let's call it gaps, and uh, or spacing, it doesn't matter. Uh, and for mobile, let's put 16. For tablet let's put 24 and for desktop let's put 40 just to see the difference and another thing that we need to add is the boolean we're gonna be using boolean in our search block you see it here in the design we have the search title and the icon 
but I want to use it only for tablet and for the desktop version. But in mobile, I want to remove this name, the title of the search. So for mobile, we are going to be having false and for the tablet, it will be true and for desktop, it will be true also. Basically, this is all we need right now. And also we need to add uh, the size of the card uh, because it will be changing in the mobile, tablet and desktop view. So let's add number and let's call it card width. And for the mobile, I want to use it. Let's see how it looks. I want to set it to, for example, 280, but it's too small. Let's try 320 like this. I think it would look okay. So we put <clears throat> 320. And for the tablet, I want to make it larger. So I'll have it about at 400. So let's set it to 400 here. All right, and now for desktop, let's see how it looks. I think it should be a little bit larger for the width and let's try it 480 something like this okay and let's put it in our variables 480 okay so this is set and now let's apply our variables first uh, we can start with the menu and here uh, we let's close that and here we'll use gaps uh, for the paddings and we need gaps for side paddings for, for i'm sorry we're going to be using 20 for side paddings and let's add uh, for the top and bottom also in our uh, outer layout let's go to catalog and here let's add paddings too so side paddings 20 and for the top and bottom uh, let's set it to 20 so also all right like that um, and for the card let's set the width of the card should be apply variable should be um, card puts 320 first one and actually for the catalog uh, we should add also the widths and we'll add the first one the car uh, the breakpoint 390 because I want to have it full width in our uh, in our design but you see the problem here is that uh, all the filters they go outside of the frame uh, with the catalog so we need to change our out layout to wrap and this is really important because now we can see all our filters they go um, inside our uh, frame and for the menu again let's change it to our um, breakpoint 390 and you see here it's a little close and we need to pick our search remember we did a boolean variable and now we go to our um, uh, layer and here we need to right click on the eye and here we need to choose boolean so now it's false you see how beautiful this looks all right uh, now we should add all of these assets into out layout so i press shift a and here i have my out layout selected and now i will add some uh, gaps inside you remember we used also uh, gaps in our variables so I add gap 16 for the mobile and I want to change the layout and should be centered like this all right so I think this looks fine uh, but now I need to add more of these cards yeah, because I only have one right now so I select the card and I click shift a again so I have new uh, out layout and inside the out layout um, I select the card and I press common D or control D and now I add all these cards but you see they're all uh, adding um, horizontally so I need to change this out layout with all the cards to wrap like this and uh, let's change it to the uh, right and top and I select the main frame, right? And I apply my breakpoint 390, like this. And now I should change 
the size of the frame where my cards are to 392. Like this. All right. Now it looks okay, uh, but now I need to just add uh, center them. All right. Uh, and let's add paddings. And I will add paddings, side paddings also here. Side paddings. And I need to add a gap between all of these mm, cards. So again, I apply variable 16. All right. So now basically our design is ready. Let's see how it works. But first of all, we should check uh, how uh, we should check the the mode for this frame. Let's actually rename it to design and let's see that it's auto. You see, it's auto. This is really important, guys. Uh, and let's see how their responsive design works. So I apply my design inside my first frame and you don't see anything happening because um, our design was already in the mobile mode but now when I drag it to my second frame the iPad breakpoint you will see it changes like this you see everything changes the cards are changing and the uh, the menu changes we see that the search uh, the search tag is here and let's drag it to our desktop and you see now it already changed to desktop version also and you see that everything is okay uh, i don't really like the the size of the uh, the menu uh, on top uh, so i can just go here and you know just put the number that i want uh, and i think these cards maybe they should be mm, smaller uh, because um, I want to have three of them in a row so I go just I go to variables and I change the size of the width of the card and now about let's add 400 also and now you see that mm, now we have three cards in a row uh, let's see it again uh, we'll bring uh, our design inside the iPad version and you see only two cards in a row and you see that we have the row of filters and now let's bring it to our mobile and we see only one card in the row also not the great thing that we can how we can check it out if we bring just our design here let's copy it and release it hold on yeah like this uh, let's just change the background and let's select the background like this and now we can actually change uh, sort of like in the component we can change the mode for this design we can just go to layer section to collection and we can choose the breakpoint that we want guys i hope you liked this video and i hope it was useful for you so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet and i wish you luck and happy designing see you in the next one bye bye